And let's talk about Okta because it is a trending ticker here on Yahoo Finance. Shares getting a boost today after hiking its full year outlook by about a third. But the company's CEO warning that they are maintaining a cautious near term outlook. So when we take in all that into account, though, despite that warning, we're still looking at gains of just about 12 percent right now. And Brad, this was an extremely strong report here from the company. Wall Street really lowering its expectations. You've heard this cautious commentary coming out from management over the last couple of quarters. But taking a look at the reaction in shares today and also analyst reaction over the last couple of hours, Oppenheimer one of the names coming out saying that these results were driven by upsells. They were driven by improved sales execution, high gross retention. Obviously, when you have a trend like that, points to stronger results. And we're seeing that reflected in the stock price today. Yeah, huge move in after hours trade we saw yesterday. And there you're taking a look at those past two days. But a lot of that action, price action coming here on the back of these earnings as we're taking a look at shares up more than 11 percent. And you hit the nail on the head. That annual contract value, anybody who's kind of doing a search for what really mattered uh, as you're going through this earnings call transcript as well, you'll see ACV. And these ACV customers now standing at over 4,200 and growing 19 percent. So ACV, annual contact track value there. They added 125 customers with 100,000 plus uh, annual contract value. And then that total base uh, now standing at over 4,200, as I mentioned. They also, in fact, hit a record number of $5 million plus total contract value deals here. So that is significant. And when you think about the number of different licensing and the model here for a company like Okta, it's going to be amazingly interesting to see how they continue to upsell into them. Subscription revenue, that was up 24%. Remaining performance obligations, that grew 18% year over year. So growing out the base and the spend levels, um, very appealing to investors here on the day. 